Hello and welcome to the Supercast. I'm your host, Superintendent Anthony Godfrey. During the pandemic, the USDA offered free breakfast and lunch to all students, K-12 nationwide. Those pandemic rules are now changing. On this episode of the Supercast, find out what you need to know about school breakfast and lunch moving forward and how to apply for free or reduced meals for the upcoming 22-23 school year in Jordan School District. We're here with Katie Bastian, the new Director of Nutrition Services. Thanks for taking time. Yes, thank you. Thanks for having me. I can still say new, right? Yes, Even though I hope you've so. done it since last year. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel new. Everything's a new day. So, yeah. I just finished my third year, so I think I have to stop saying that I'm new, but it feels oh. good when you're able to do that. Yes, yes. A little bit leeway. The last couple of years, the USDA has provided free meals because of COVID, mm-hmm. and that has happened nationwide. Yes. So yeah. this change is not a Jordan District change. This is a change that's happening nationwide, Yes. where now there is no longer an exemption and students will need to pay for their meals. Yep. The good news is that Jordan District has not increased the cost of a meal for 13 years, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. Our, our meals this year, as you know, we go back to a free, reduced, and paid price structure, the, the cost is just the same as it was pre-pandemic. So the, the prices aren't increasing. So And yeah. it's been over a decade that we've kept those prices low. It's pretty incredible, yeah. But through budgeting and making use of, like you say, we make foods from scratch. So we, we have more labor than most districts do, but we're able to save money and control our quality by doing things from scratch. So the overall cost is lower. That's what's made it possible for us to avoid increasing cost for over a decade. Mm-hmm. But... It's also helped with supply chain issues that yeah. we've been able to cook from scratch. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, we, we have a warehouse in our district, which we're really lucky to have. So we have a little bit of control what we bring in and we're able to purchase in bulk. But yeah, when people are having issues getting bread products, bread products haven't and are not an issue for us because we make a lot of our bread products from scratch. We just have to make sure we have all the you know raw ingredients of flour and whole wheat flour and that sort of thing. So we we are able to control the quality and the cost of it and put out a a healthy and delicious product. When I think about aspects of the district that are run very efficiently with a high quality output, it's nutrition services that I think of. We do a lot of things well, and that is one of them. It's just incredible what you have done over the years to provide very nutritious, high quality meals at a very low cost and providing jobs and doing so for less than it would cost to uh, just bring that food in instead of create it here. Yeah, no, I I appreciate that. And our staff is incredible. We have over 500 employees at, you know, our 64 different sites and they're incredible. They were flexible during COVID and even now COVID is getting a little bit better, all the supply chain issues and, and, uh, it's they've just been flexible they they rise to the challenge every single day and it's been a challenge because throughout every summer we've continued to feed students and so if anyone hasn't received a break it's nutrition (laughs) services even when we shut down schools in the spring of 2020 everyone else was home for the most part Mm -hmm. except for our education support professionals and that included nutrition services who continued yeah. to provide meals in uh, very uncertain circumstances. So yeah. thank you for providing that oh. consistency and just a, a really important part of a student's day. Definitely. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. Our staff is amazing. The thing that's happened since the USDA has been reimbursing us for all meals is that fewer families have applied for those free or reduced lunch Mm -hmm. uh, benefits that they would normally be eligible for. Right. So how does a family go about renewing those benefits? Yeah, yeah. So with the USDA suspending those waivers and us going back to everything normal next year, we've really just been letting parents know, apply for the free and reduced um, lunches through their uh, registration process. They can do it online through their Skyward account or they can, every school has a paper application too. So even if you're not sure if you qualify, please just 
apply for free and reduced meals and see. And then also we want parents to know, um, go ahead and put uh, money in your student's lunch account, which you can also do through Skyward. And that will get them all set up for the first day of school. So. And I've heard this a couple of different times, but third graders, second graders, and first graders yeah. have not entered their lunch number before. No. They haven't had to go through that process because either they were in kindergarten before the pandemic mm-hmm. and didn't have lunch to begin with at school, uh, or they just have had a free lunch during the pandemic. Right. So we have a lot of students. Right. Sometimes half of our students at our elementary schools will be figuring out that program for the first time. Exactly. So those first couple of weeks are going to be, uh, yeah, uh, be a little bit intense. Definitely. Yeah. Parent Parents will... We'll figure things out, and we'll figure them out with the kids. So, yeah, it'll we'll it'll it be work. great. Yeah. It'll be great. Just part of adjusting to being back in business uh, in the way we used to be. Yes. Stay with us when we come back. Find out what is happening in the free summer meal service program for Jordan School District. Are you? Looking for a job right now? Looking to work in a fun and supportive environment with great pay and a rewarding career? Jordan School District is hiring. We're currently filling full and part-time positions. You can work and make a difference in young lives and education as a classroom assistant or a substitute teacher. Apply to work in one of our school cafeterias where our lunch staff serves up big smiles with great food every day. We're also looking to hire custodians and bus drivers. In Jordan School District, we like to say people come for the job and enjoy the adventure. Apply today at workatjordan.org. We have a summer meal program that a lot of people don't realize goes on throughout the summer. Many people ask, what do we do all summer? Well, this is one of the ways that we stay connected to kids and communities. Right. Tell us about that and where that's located and who it's available to. Yeah. So we have uh, five summer feeding locations, and they are mostly in West Jordan because that is the area that qualify for eligibility um, based on their free and reduced percentages. But we have five schools. We have Columbia and Heartland and Westville and Ochre and Majestic. And we're here at Heartland right now in a lull between breakfast and lunch. We are. But this will be filled with kids uh, before too long having a free lunch that's provided through federal funding. And that's one thing I want to clarify. Mm -hmm. The rules come from uh, the federal government and the funding comes from the federal government. Yep, the USDA. And this is a little bit of a switch. Uh, Over the last couple of summers, because of COVID, we've had the flexibility to offer summer meals throughout the district at schools uh, in locations farther south and farther west. Yeah, we had waivers in place that allowed us to do that. And now most of those COVID waivers have gone away. So we're just back to kind of the five or six sites that qualify each year that we've done in the past before the pandemic. And these summer meals have been going on for a long time. Do you have any idea how long this has happened? Oh, you know, I've been with the district as our dietitian before I was the director for 12 years. And, I mean, it's been going on as, long, as, long before that. As long as I know. Like, as far as, like, if you have summer lunch, you have summer meals if you have schools that qualify. Right. So, yeah, it, it runs hand in hand. And it's always been free, too, for kids 0 to 18. And the 0 to 18 is something that people sometimes overlook. Right. So even if you've graduated but you're 18, you still yep. qualify. Yep. And if you're 0 to five and you haven't even been to school yet yeah you still qualify yeah. and you told me earlier you even have baby food available tell me a little bit about that we do yeah we do have baby food available for of course the kids who aren't eating regular table food and then our meals are served hot off the line every day so it's not a cold gram- grab and go sandwich every day so it's, it's it's pretty good quality meal so and people need to know that they don't have to be within the school's boundaries to come if someone from you know, other other places in our district want to come. It's it's open to everyone. So it's just open to anyone age zero to eighteen. Correct. You don't have to qualify with your family's income or any of your family circumstances, mm-hmm. and you don't have to qualify according to where you live. Right. Just anyone age zero to eighteen qualifies. Right. But don't. if a parent comes with them, they do not 
qualify right. to, to have a right. meal. The parent can buy a meal if they'd like to eat with their kids. They're more than welcome to do that. And, and we wh- love parents to come with their kids, too. And what's the charge for a parent to come? I believe it is three thirty, an adult meal cost. Well, that's a bargain. It is. It that's is. a bargain. Yeah. Bring the whole family. For so. Sure. Uh, anyone is welcome at any of those five schools. And tell me about the hours. When is that available? We serve a hot breakfast from 8.30 to 9.30. And then we serve a hot lunch from 11.30 to 12.30 every day and throughout that's the, the summer. And that's the same time at every location? Yep, same time every location. And we have Tanya Elwood here with us, who is normally the nutrition services manager at Daybreak, but is filling in and helping out here at Heartland. Thanks for taking a few minutes to talk with me. You're welcome. Tell me about uh, the summer meal program. So anyone can come, and then we'd love to see any kids come and help from the 0 to 18. Um, they mentioned the baby food, and we have lots of hot meals. It changes every day, so we have like a five-week cycle that we cycle through, and breakfast and lunch. I assume that you have some of the same uh, children that come through over that period of time and you get to know them pretty well. Yeah, it's really fun. A lot of the same kids come and so we get to know their names and get to see how their summer is going and visit with them one-on-one. Uh, like I was talking about earlier, although we do have many people who do not work in the summer, we have a lot of things that continue throughout the summer. You really don't get a rest and I really appreciate that you're here to help out. That's okay. I'd love to help. I, you know, it's great that we can work and keep and still have a job and help these kids and help make sure that they get a meal. Well, it's really important to the community and uh, I know it means a lot to them. So thank you very much for making that possible. Thank you. How long have you been uh, a nutrition services worker in the district? Um, since 2013. And where all have you worked? Um, I've worked at Joe P. Jensen Middle School for eight years, and then I've been at Daybreak. Well, I went Joe P. Jensen for eight years, and then I came here at Heartland during COVID, and then I got manager at Daybreak two years ago. Oh, so when you come back to Heartland, you know these kids? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've been summer feed here for three years. And being able to connect with kids as part of their meal, whether it's in the summer or during the school day, they really get to know you and uh, become friends, I'm sure. Yeah, it's a lot of fun getting to hear about their summers. So as a nutrition services manager in the summer, you maybe get to know students in a different way because there are fewer, first of all, even though there are a lot of participants, it's not like during the school year. Definitely. 100 versus 500 kids because during the summer we have about... I don't know what they feed here at Heartland, but I know at Daybreak we serve about 500. So that gives you a chance to get to know them better because the numbers are lower. But you also get to connect with their families and maybe get to know parents of students that you've known for a long time because they come with their kids for the summer program. Yeah, a lot of the same parents come with the same kids, and so we talk to them either and get to know them and their family and what's going on with them as a whole. It's a great service and uh, a wonderful way to stay connected. Definitely. Katie mentioned that we do not just serve a grab-and-go. It's a, it's a hot lunch and a hot breakfast off the line. Tell me about some of the foods that are available. There are fresh foods as well. Yes, we serve them right here in cafeteria. So they come in here and they eat in the cafeteria. And there is like, today we had waffles and sausage. And today, we'll, sometimes we have sweet and sour chicken or we have um spaghetti we've made tacos from from scratch today we make rolls from scratch so they get a wide variety there's lots of fruits and vegetables we make salads we've had pineapple or cantaloupe which is a lot of the fresh meals fruit and it is impressive that we do so many meals from scratch i know that that is one of the things that sets us apart i think a little bit from some other programs And so it's great food, and uh, it's definitely something that people ought to check out if that's of interest to them at any of those schools during the times we mentioned. Definitely. We'll include the list of schools and times in the show notes as well. Well, I know that there's a lot to be done. It's summer, but it is almost lunchtime, so I will uh, let you go, but I really appreciate your spending the time, and it's uh, it's a pleasure to talk with you. Thanks for everything you do for our students and for our community. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. 
Thanks for joining us on another episode of the Supercast. Remember, education is the most important thing you'll do today. We'll see you out there.